Remember when guitar heroes were like gods. Guys like Eddie Van Halen, Slash, even Joe Satriani and Steve Vai. They inspired millions to pick up the guitar, but is that era over? Have guitar heroes died? When I was growing up, guys like Eddie Van Halen, Slash, Steve Vai, guys from Iron Maiden, they were legendary. We didn't just listen to them, we idolized them. You know, had their posters on our walls, we copied their licks, and we had endless debates about who was the greatest. But when I talk to younger players now, I just don't see that same passion. There's something missing. Now, of course, we have incredible players today, like, you know, Toes in Abassi, Tim Henson, Pliny, um, they're insanely talented, and obviously I've got a lot of respect for what they do, but do they have the same status? I don't see people talking about them with the same sort of reverence. It's not that these guys aren't guitar heroes, it's that they don't feel like guitar gods in the same way. And why is that? Now, obviously the guys I was talking about before, like EVH and Slash, they'd be on stage playing in front of, you know, tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands. But now, a lot of the new generation discovers guitarists through clips on social media. It's all fragmented. So instead of these huge concerts, it's now 60 second reels. And in some cases, you can be like an internet legend without even headlining a show. Yeah, some may go on to be part of like huge productions or work alongside prestigious artists, but they never have that sort of main character feeling guitar heroes had back then. And let's be real, it's hard to compare someone like Eddie Van Halen, who worked with Michael Jackson, to a YouTube sensation. You know, Pliny, as incredible as he is, just doesn't have that level of mainstream exposure. So it's obviously unfair to compare like rock gods to these niche legends. I know many of you are gonna say guys like Tozen or whatever are miles better than EVH, and I disagree, but that's not what this video is about. What I'm saying is due to the current climate of guitar heroes nowadays, mostly residing in this sort of parallel underground setting to mainstream music, where the average person has no idea who they are, does that prevent them from being considered as guitar heroes? But then again, now I feel like I'm back at the usual place when I make these videos of does it even matter? At the end of the day, guitar heroes might not look the same, but maybe that's a good thing. You know, we're in a new era, one where you don't need to sell out stadiums to influence thousands of players. I also kind of like the fact that we have our own like awesome niche that the average person has no idea about. And when we meet someone who is as passionate about it as we are, it's even more awesome than it would be if, you know, guys like Pliny or Satriani were mainstream icons. Today's heroes are like digital natives and they're shaping the future in their own way. So are guitar heroes dead? No, I don't think so, but they've definitely evolved. The big names might not have the same universal pull, but maybe that's okay. Maybe it's time we redefine what a guitar hero really is. As usual, I wanna hear your thoughts. Who are your guitar heroes today? And do you think they'll be remembered in the same way as we remember Slash and Eddie Van Halen? Drop a comment and let's keep this conversation going. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.